last time you were here, we were just starting to talk about the 458. Mm, yeah. Um, Interesting project. What happened with that? So the 458 was going to be a really cool project where it was like base spec. I've never seen a Ferrari with like the, this minimal amount of options ticked. Mm. And Euro spares obviously have this massive warehouse of carbon fiber, all OEM stuff, like used new Ferrari parts. So we were just going to kit this car out, carbon bucket seats, new wheels, going to stick carbon all over the interior. We put the exhaust on, put some tires on, and it was just going to be a cool project of almost having a car, a ready-made car that we were specking in front of ourselves yeah. and doing. Um, but COVID hit. This was we got the car in December. It got to about February. I'd taken it. The PPF had been removed. The wrap had been removed. And I remember I was at NVN when I got the call from Eurospares, and they're like, "We need the car back." And I was like, "Ah, oh, but what about all of this content? What about all this stuff." Yeah, and they were like, "Where we are as a company." everything that we've got planned has basically been torn up, thrown out the window. And I was just heading out to Dubai and I said, well, the car's at NVN. So if you want to grab the car and do what you want with it, like tuck it away, fine. But it would still be cool to revisit it or like do something again. And I think they've just sort of like got their heads down and, and cracked on because the thing with lockdown, especially with their business, which is Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati, like mm. no one was driving cars. No one was even tinkering and getting ready for the spring and the summer. So I don't know really what happened. I'd be speculated if I said anything, but they kind of just like became quite quiet with yeah. the whole project, which is a shame because the whole thing it was, was cool cool, yeah, it was really exciting. I know that we talked about... Uh, potentially importing something in from the yeah. Middle East a few times. And I was like, I just want to do it again. Like, it was cool to see the car on a on a shipping container and then see it in the UK yeah. and drive it around with the Arab plates for a little bit. And it was all really, really cool. But yeah, shame that it got cut short. And never saw the car again. Don't even oh. know where it is. 